Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a Z transform of RAM sequence or you can say unit RAM sequence. So what do you mean by unit RAM? Unit RAM means what? If the slope of a ramp is 1 then that function or that signal or sequence is called as a unit RAM sequence. Now we'll move on to the solution. Now, this is our ramp wave. This ramp wave can be represented by R of n. And the equation is, how to write the equation? Basically, the equation is the slope. And now here, the slope, how to calculate slope? Look at here. The next sample value is 1. Now, the next sample value is increased by 1. And also, next sample value is increased by 1. Means what? Our slope is increasing by 1. Which means, our slope value is 1. Multiplied by n. This was the definition. And then, it is causal function. That's why I am going to write. n is greater than or equal to 0. And it is 0 when n is less than 0. Basically, we can write this R of n value by... n into u of n. You can represent this r of n by n into u of n. Why I have written this formula? Because we are going to find out a z transform and we can find out the z transform by using this equation. The reason is we can use n value and the limit is n is greater than equal to 0. And it is nothing but basically n into u of n because n u of n is available only in this region and having amplitude 1. So we can write r of n by n when it is greater than equals to 0 and or else you can write n into u of n. Now we will find out the z transform. So what is our r of n? r of n is n into u of n. And we know that u of n is available only from 0 to infinity when the summation limit is 0 to infinity and having amplitude 1. So, I will substitute that value. Now, what is the next step? We have one formula. We have studied one formula of n into z to the power minus n. What was that? I will show you. Now, our result was r of z is nothing but summation n value varies from 0 to infinity n into z to the power minus n. Now we have one formula when summation value n equals to 0 to infinity and if a raised to n is multiplied by n then our formula was a upon 1 minus a the whole square. Now we have a n value in both these cases. We have a summation value which varies from n equals 0 to infinity in both these cases it is similar. Now where we have a to the power n and in the result we have z to the power minus n. So if I said your a value is z to the power minus 1 then both these formulas are same. So z transform of ramp a will be z to the power minus 1 the whole square. Now what we want? We want to calculate the value like z minus 1. Means what I want? I want z over here. And here we have, we want coefficient. So which term you are going to multiply in numerator and denominator to get this result? Important one is, basically inside this bracket we have z to the power minus 1. If I open this square, then what you will get? z to the power minus 2 will be the highest power. Now, to remove z to the power minus 2, what is important? We have to multiply numerator and denominator by z to the power plus 2. Now, 
if we want to move z square inside the square bracket then only z will enter not the square because whenever terms comes out from the square then they will carry this power 2 but when any terms will enter into the square term or square bracket then its power will be reduced by a 2 or in order of 2. So if z square will enter into the square bracket then its order 2 will be vanished only z will be multiplied inside this bracket. So in numerator what we have here we have z to the power plus 2 here we have z to the power minus 1 if the bases are same then orders always gets added so 2 minus 1 answer is 1 so here we have z in the numerator now inside this bracket this z only z will be multiplied inside this bracket so z into 1 will be z and z into z in minus 1 what will get z to the power 0 and it is always 1 And this is nothing but the z transform of r of z or simply you can say that it is nothing but z transform of n into u of n so most of the time you require this formula whenever we have power 2 in the base of any term and basically it is important from inverse z transform point of view so this result is much more important so thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you so much.